One of the really interesting, funny movies that I watched was Hancock with Will Smith, maybe five, ten years ago. And in the movie, there was a distinction that was pretty intense. And Will Smith is a superhero, kind of a weird superhero, and he's being coached by his sort of earthly mentor here. And uh, the earthly mentor says, hey, you got to tell people they're doing a good job. Not everybody's a superhero. And so pretty soon Will Smith, as the superhero, starts to go, oh, and by the way, good job. Good job. That people must have recognition beyond almost anything. They need recognition. They need recognition from a couple of different places. The first place that the person needs recognition from is you. That's the first thing. And then they also need recognition and awareness of their accomplishment from some kind of a peer group or two or three. They need recognition ideally from people that they love and their friends, but that's not always possible. So when that's not possible and because you can't control that, you want to make sure that you're doing what you can control. Once you give people recognition, like telling other people about them in the newspaper, telling about them in the, in the uh, company's magazine, uh, talking uh, to other people in a positive way about them, and maybe they even overheard it, or they heard from a friend that you said something really nice about them. It's like I always say, I always want people to talk by hand, behind my back. I just want it to always be good stuff, right? So you want to tell other people about their accomplishment. That doesn't mean you have to like announce it to the world, but it does mean that they need a plaque so it goes on the wall. It means that they need a recognition in the, uh, in the school newsletter or, or whatever it is. You want to make sure that people are becoming aware of the accomplishments that this person has done. Also, you want to make sure that not only is there a recognition, but that there is a reward publicly. Private rewards are real nice. Private rewards can be valuable, like those are incentives, like maybe a bonus for doing a really good job. We'll talk about that in another video sometime. But basically, when, for example, when subjects are doing work in, in experiments for, um, for monetary gain, so, so you get the so students say they come to the laboratory and you're going to give them a project that means absolutely nothing. It's assembly line type work. It turns out that if you will um, give the person recognition of some kind by looking at their work actually when it's done or by having other people look at their work while they're doing the work or immediately after it's done. Those are the kind of things that person then works harder for less money. These people then work harder, they build more widgets, they make more stuff for less money. Also, a really neat thing that you can do is to make sure that when the person goes and they make this, they write this article, they help you make this video, they act as a creative consultant on a project, whatever it is that they do, you want to make sure that that person gets their name on that work somehow. So like when I write a book, and I've written a couple of them over the years, when I write a book, I like to put a list of the people's names who have been valuable to me in the prior year in the book. They might have had absolutely nothing to do with the book. That's not the important part. They did play an influential role in my mindset that helped allow the accomplishment of that book. And so by people seeing that they were relevant and that they meant something to you in the writing of the book, for example, their name got on your work. You want to make sure that their name gets on their own work too. You want to make sure that their name somehow gets engraved, embossed. It gets told that, hey, and by the way, the artist on this is this person. The person who did the, uh, the color matching was this person. Even little tiny things like that, when it's that person's job or their task or their project, this is the kind of stuff that goes a long way. So it's really important, and here's the big key. This goes beyond projects that somebody's going to be doing for you. When you're attempting to influence somebody or to persuade them to your way of thinking, you want to make sure that they know that by participating in this activity, they're not just buying life insurance. They are taking care of their children into the future. They are taking care of their wife into the future. Look, buddy, when you die, your family's going to get a half of a million dollars. It's going to cost you $500 a year to do this. That's the right thing to do. You just do that. You do take care of people. And by telling me what that 
act of signing my name on the paper and writing that $500 check meant and what it does for the person's family, for the people that they love, by making sure that they know that what they're doing has meaning in a tangible, real way. Because after all, tomorrow is the same as today. It just hasn't happened yet. Okay, so if, if somebody were, to, for example, in the life insurance situation to die today, then you will still continue to take care of the people that you love tomorrow. They won't need somebody else to take care of them. You'll already have done it for them. Give people meaning, show them what they do really, really matters, not only for today, but into the future. More people will not only find you likable they'll, and trust you more, they'll also have meaning in their life. All right, I'll see you here next time.